eliminate a time in our Springbok Challenge. Now, in the women's event, Jackie's on 10 points, Charmaine's on two points. That's an eight-point difference, giving Great Britain a four-second head start. Jackie, you will go on my first whistle. Charmaine, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. The United Kingdom's Jackie Tyndall takes to the high and low hurdles. The pride of the nation resting on her shoulders. Here comes Charmaine Smith from South Africa. Slower over the beams as Jackie hits the net. Sister Pauline and boyfriend John already out of their seats. The springbok on the springboard as Jackie begins her descent. And Charmaine making no early impression on that lead. Jackie turns for the climb. The test of stamina is relentless on this eliminated course. Oh, Jackie in trouble on the rope. And her supporters are mortified. And uh, we've seen this happen in the domestic series. Once that lactic acid sets in, it's good night, Vienna. You have to climb this rope. You can't get away with swinging up it. And Charmaine is on the platform. The South Africans loving every second. Charmaine on the hand ladder. What a turnaround. All that hard work over five events goes for nothing with one mistake on the eliminator. But this is the ultimate challenge. Charmaine finishes her ladder. And the rope is no hope for Jackie Tyndall. The family in shame and despair. Charmaine looking uncertain over Death Valley, swings out. Oh, she falls at the changeover. The Valley claims its first victim. Drama upon drama. Now, can Jackie capitalize on that mistake? She still has to climb this rope. Charmaine clambers from the Valley to attack the net that rears up ahead of her. Extraordinary scenes in this first round of the Springbok Challenge. Net. And advice from a young fan, the climb is slow, but it can afford to be. Jackie's still at the foot of the rope. And boyfriend John leads the chanting. Sister Pauline about to crack by the look of it. Charmaine concludes her cargo neck climb. Next will be the gantry sprint to the zip line. The arena joins in a united cry to try and lift Jackie both emotionally and up that rope. The Eliminated gone forever as Charmaine begins her slide to the floor, gathering speed as gravity grabs her. Charmaine splashes down, South Africa just two seesaws and a travelator from victory. First seesaw, gets her balance, no problem. Takes it down with a thud. Second seesaw, even less of a problem. Oh, someone's found a ladder, could have done with that a couple of minutes ago. Charmaine stumbles on the travelator, but it won't matter. She's got so much time, she could nip off for a cup of tea before trying again. Charmaine attacks the travelator, makes it look easy, and Jackie's gone again, as Charmaine secures an easy win for South Africa. The South Africans delighted, a win 5,000 miles from home, and Jackie jacks it in. But her family applauding. Well, Charmaine Smith, you've just earned yourself a place in the Springbok Challenge final. You must feel great. Yes, this is our do, South Africa. <laughs> Absolutely, and it was one of the strangest eliminators I think we've had. Jackie getting stuck on the rope, and then you falling down, and then slipping, and one thing and another. It wasn't one of the best eliminators we've seen. No, definitely not. But I hope we'll, next song we can get some chalk up there. <laughs> Because it's so slippery. We haven't put you off. You're going to be ready to come back and uh, do it all over again. Definitely, I'll do it over again. Let's hear it for Charmaine. Well done, South Africa. The South African flag flies proud. Jackie, this has never happened before in the Eliminator, and I bet you can't believe yourself what's happened here. No, I totally can't believe it. I'm so upset. I just the rope. I went on and I pushed myself, and the more you tried, the sore your arms get, and I just had nothing left. And I just couldn't get up there, and then they put me in the monkey bars, but I couldn't even hold on. I was just like, oh God, my body just couldn't cope with it. Jackie, I know you're bitterly disappointed, but listen to this crowd for you. It ain't easy, folks. Jackie is a heptathlon champion. She's a big, strong girl, but she couldn't get up the rope. But she's done her thing for Britain. And Jackie, I know it's runner-up. I know it's not great. But you did well, and let's hear it for Jackie from Scotland! So now the United Kingdom's hopes rest with Mark Mottram in the men's eliminator. Mark has secured a 21-point lead, which means he has the advantage of a 10.5-second head start over Patrick Drymini. Mark, you will go on my first whistle. Patrick, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two...
two, one. Mark sets off at stake a place in the Springbok Challenge final and the restoration of national pride. The 1996 Gladiators champion, but this a new eliminator course for him with several new elements he's never before encountered. Patrick's underway and the chase is on. Good work on the hurdles. Oh, I'd better take that back. Oh, and again. His young fan can't believe it. Mark Powerful on the handbike. The ex plumber turned movie stuntman. Girlfriend Nadine and Mottram family in full voice. Trapeze. Good changeover. Straight onto the net. He makes it look deceptively simple. Patrick's on the rope. Great arm strength at work there. Mark's climb fast and furious. Digs in, tops the net. Mom Trisha can sense victory. Patrick pumping that old pedal down the track. Mark down the zipper, feet up, splash down. Patrick on the trapeze, full stretch for the changeover. Onto the cargo net, still great support for Patrick. Mark balances down the seesaw, one to go. And Patrick may be beaten by Mark, but he won't be beaten by that net. Mark for one final explosion of power. Brother Jason wants it finished. Here he comes, huge strides, boundless energy. Mark Mottram wins a plate in the final for the United Kingdom. And the brothers love it. So do Trisha and Nadine. Patrick on the zip line, that 10.5 second deficit, plus an opponent, the caliber of Mark Mottram proved too much on the night. Seesaws. Oh, plenty of style, speed and balance. And again, here he comes. Whoa, smashes it down. South Africa's proud of his valiant efforts, storms the Travelator and finishes the course. Well, Mark Mottram of Great Britain, you've made it through to the final. Yeah. This is just your cup of tea, isn't it? Dodging, weaving, jumping, you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, well, I suppose uh, it comes a little bit easier for me than it does to other people, but... Oh, be a bit excited. It's so exciting. Oh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited, but... I've still got another show to go, so, you know, good luck, well done to Patrick over there. It's very hard, that little one, especially with the new car going out of the front and the trapeze and the beams. It's very tiring, takes it out of you. Well, you made it look very easy. Let's hear it for Mark Mottram of Great Britain. Well done. Patrick, Mark saying well done to you there, and ultimately he had that lead, and you really battled to eat into that lead on the Eliminator. Again, I thought it was, I said to myself, I want to make it uh, a hard, try hard. Because he had 10, 10 seconds head start uh, ahead of me. So it was going to definitely be a little bit difficult for me. But uh, I said, I'll give it my best shot. And uh, I gave it my best shot. It just said she didn't work for me. And Patrick gave it his best shot. And, and I'd like to thank all the people here in Birmingham who have supported us. Say thank you very much from South Africa and all the South Africans there drawn that watching said we did it for you guys. Patrick from South Africa, Patrick. Go for it, mate. Patrick Drymini, he's done his country proud. But here's the hero of the hour, Mark Mottram for the UK, the flowers, the flag, and the family. As Patrick takes a lap of a